You are now listening to Next Legacy Radio, a radio station for the people. With your man tonight, I definitely appreciate it, and uh, you know what I'm saying. We got a, we got another guest too. You know what I'm saying, and and you know as beautiful as she is, and stuff like that. People seen her on the Frank Show. You know what I mean. So. You know, we definitely got to give it up and say what's cracking to my girl, Jenny. Jenny's in the house tonight on Tuesday, Ladies Night. Happy Ladies Night, sweetie. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me. Hey, Steph. What's up, girl? Hey, Jen, babe. <laughs> we, on, we on chill mode tonight, so I definitely appreciate you ladies coming in and uh, hanging out with your man on this Ladies Night. And then it's just like I said, to start the show, you know, we always pave the way for the ladies, make sure we give them the exposure that y'all deserve to have on this particular show not just we do we do it every tuesday night we put it on a on a big scale like this but you know coming from a guy like me to a lady like y'all you know ladies like y'all we definitely need to make sure we rock y'all movement daily like you know what i'm saying like every day so you know we just spotlight it on tuesday so we definitely just you know showing some of y'all ladies some love and stuff so i definitely appreciate y'all coming on we appreciate you both best yeah anytime Hey, I definitely appreciate it. Now, Steph, you already know you girl. I already know you girl. You know what I'm saying? I asked you 50 million questions, so I know you're going to throw some out there to Jenny. Jenny, it's your first time coming on this uh, Tuesday Ladies Night thing that we got here, but we try to keep it, you know, as fun and as, uh, you know, carefree as possible and stuff like that. So, you know, my first thing, sweetheart, is, uh, you know, <laughs> not not to, not to kind of sound like, you know what I'm saying, like it, it was, a, it was a not really worth your time, but... Being on that Frank show was it was it really worth it? was it really worth your time like you know what I'm saying for real? I mean, being on a Frank show has me talking to you tonight, so I hey. guess it was worth my time a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Hey, yeah, give it up for that one. You know, what I mean? for real, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Now you know, cause yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw it out there. Like you know, I was never really a big fan of Frank the Entertainer. Like you know, what I'm saying it's there. Everybody know I've been doing radio shows for so long, you know, three years strong, damn near, and never been a fan. You know, from the New York show to the I Love Money show to, you know, all these, you know, to his show. And, you know, it is what it is. I ain't going to never knock the man's hustle for getting cash. You know, everybody just trying to get money. Hey, go do you. You know what I mean? But I just did. I don't see, you know, how a lady could really rock his movement because his movement is living in the basement. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I never did get that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I I don't know what to say to that. I mean, to each his own. I guess he feels like his best hustle is to hustle off his mom and dad. So you know, do you? <laughs> For real. Yeah. Now, what was what was some of the what was some of the highlights from being on the show? Because I mean, you know, everybody know you know Jenny. Everybody knows Steph. Like you know, we all know Steph was 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 the first one of the first ones to go. You know what I'm saying? And Jenny, you was on there for you know for a minute too and stuff like that, but, you know, everybody knows it's like, you know, the more people talk, you know, either about y'all, to y'all, or whatever, especially from Steph, because I know Steph, like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people really dig her personality and stuff like that, so, Jen, well, my question to you is, like, you know, how was you perceived from the time you finished the show to the time it aired and to the time you left? You mean, like, are you asking, like, how did they, like, edit me on the show? Are you asking, right. like, exactly? Um, I think on the show they kind of, they, they edited a lot of stuff out, but I think they were trying to create me into being like this uh, stuck-up girl who yes. I guess uh, she was, you know, cuter than everybody else, but that's not the case at all, you know. You know, if I see a bad chick, I'll give her props. Like, I'm not a stuck-up chick whatsoever. Like, that's not even in my blood. So I guess they wanted to put together, oh, you know, she's a, classy girl so she's stuck up she's boozy and you know we're just gonna run with that so that's the character that they wanted to make me on the show but y'all have no idea who i am yeah so, so, so who are you <laughs> who are you jen get the listeners out there a taste of who you are just so, you know you can tell them just enough you know what i'm saying so if you was portrayed this way on the show like you know how how's jen what what, what does jen do on a regular basis, who she rocks with, what's the, what, what's your movement now, sweetheart? Wow. <laughs> um, I'm just like a real chill person. Like, I mean, I like to go out, have a good time. Um, 
I keep the small stuff all females around me. I don't know, I'm just a real down earth person. Like I'm not sitting here smelling myself like, Oh, I think I'm the baddest thing on earth But, you know, I just I just do me, you know, like you know, being too cocky and too arrogant and too stuck up, too full of yourself is, is not a cute, you know, trait to have. So, no, that that could never be me. One one thing I could I could definitely say to both y'all ladies is like it's like this, like you know, and, and and I know so many people from you know the the VH ones from the hoops to the delicious and 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 all that stuff. And you right, Jen, like to the to the the, the simple fact that y'all was actually rocking on the show and on TV you know, made people want to reach out to you, made me want to reach out to y'all and stuff like that. So off top, that's 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 a blessing in itself because, you know, hey, maybe I wouldn't have never got a chance to be able to cross paths with y'all. So I, I look at it as a plus. So, you mm -hmm. know, tell the, tell the people out there in, in Radio Land and stuff like that exactly, you know, um, you know, some of the best experiences or some of the best things that happened while you was actually in that house. <laughs> The best experience while I was in that, I mean, honestly, I think the best thing that could have happened to me while I was on the show is the fact that they blurred that picture out and that they tried to make me seem like I was, like, a porn star chick or, like, I was right, naked. Right. That was probably the best thing they could have done because that gave people, like, suspense and made them want to get on the computer and Google me. So, big up to VH1 for the blurred out picture. You guys really helped in making me one of the Google's number one trending topic search too, so thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> That's what exactly. I was like, so thank you. Yeah, you, you got a little bit of shine off of that one, because, you know, I was kind of curious myself, like, you know, why why they blurt that thing out? Like, you know, what yes. was really the deal? You know what I mean? So, I mean. The picture? Yeah. You saw the picture? Nah. Nah, well, I mean, oh, what? Yeah. Say that again? I said, you haven't seen the picture. Nah. No, it was basically like me and like lingerie. It's like blonde panties and a tank top. Um, so they blurred it out like I was butt booty naked, like I was showing my breasts or whatever. And yeah, my like thing you is. Some, yeah, like you were some kind of porn star or something like that or whatever. You was you was on, on the on Playboy or something, you know what I mean? Like I was like, wow. Yeah, I, I'm not, yeah, that's. I'm not built like that, sorry, homie. I'm not a playmate. And anyway, like, a, like, why would I be showing my breasts? Like, that's not to sound like stereotypical or anything and knock anybody, but that's mostly white chicks who are, like, showing their breasts. Like, white chicks, we're going to show the ass or something, but come on. Like, what do I look like flashing my boobs to, like, come on now? I might as well I mean, be a stripper if that's the case. What am I taking pictures of myself naked for? Right, right. I mean, well, you know, perception is, is just that. I mean, you know, I, I think it's with, with all races or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I think that's just kind of like how he wanted to kind of paint you, which was kind of weird. It's like, I don't really, I, I don't know, that whole show, I don't get. A lot of times I'll be looking at that damn thing, I'll be confused. I'll be like, wow. Like, And a lot of times I just, like, DVR that thing just because, you know, of, of either somebody that I'm either, like, reaching out to as far as interview-wise or whatever, but... You know, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know, Steph. Tell, tell the people like your, your first and your impression and shit. Like, I'm about to put my girl blonde baller up in a minute, but like, like throw it out there, y'all. Like, tell me, like, you know, the perception that people have on Frank the Entertainer. Like, the, the moment you found out you was about to get up in that motherfucker, be like, ooh, I'm about to do a show. Frank's gonna be the, the, the main dude. Like, was you like, you know, celebrating? Like, was you, was you like, uh, was you like this? <laughs> or, 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 or was you like this? Like, like, what, like, what, what was up with that? Like, you know what I mean? Well, I know when we all saw him, when we, when he came out the basement or whatever, we all jumped up and started cheering. You know, um, you know, Frank is not a bad looking person. You know, he has a great body. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, like I say, when we all saw him, he just all just jumped up and start, you know, cheering, screaming, and all kind of stuff, you know. So, you know, I think I mean, it was an exciting moment for everybody. Yeah, okay. I, I don't think I don't think any of us were like, oh, Frank, because we signed up for the show. Like, we knew exactly what we was getting ourselves into. We knew yes. it was gonna be Frank. You know what I mean? So, if I was gonna be so disgusted, then I, I wouldn't have went on the show. But I know the damn fact and kept on him, like. That's how I handle that situation. Sorry, homie. Like, 
not even going to be like that. If you want, want to get with me or, you know, I know this is your show, honey, but you're going to have to work for it because I'm not <laughs> chasing you up and down and, you know, knocking on your door and coming down to your room. Sorry, bro, you got it twisted. It's not going to be me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm feeling hey. it. I feel that one hundred. Hey, let me get my girl. Y'all know Blonde Baller from the from the Real Chance thing or whatever, but I know her as Kip, my home girl. Welcome to Ladies Night, sweetie. What's crazy? What up? What up? What up? Hey, hey. girls, how you doing? You hey, and, you, and, uh, you in company <laughs> with uh, you know Steph, Stephanie's back, and uh, you know we got my girl Jenny. You know both ladies. You know rocking that that Frank the Entertainment Entertainer show on the on the VH1 joint. What's up with you, girl? How you doing? Man, oh, wait, you talking to me? Talking to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm doing good. I just got done playing ball. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I got beat. I'm a little bit mad about it or anything, but, you know. You always I get just... beat. Every time I hear you on shows, you're like, yeah, knock it off. Knock it off. So we, no. We've always been getting beat. Ever since I, hey, we've been knowing each other for a few months now. Like, you know, <laughs> you, you've been beat ever since. Like, you know. Hey, man, knock it off. I played against the guy, so stop it. It's not like I was that's, losing that's to a girl. That's an excuse, Kip. That's an excuse. Don't let that be an yeah, he plays that prison ball. Knock it off. As <laughs> <laughs> you said, prison ball. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hey, so, now, no. now, Kip, now, you was, you, was one of the, you was one of the sweetheart ladies that, you know, kind of felt, you know, at the end of the day, like, they kind of screwed you over with, with the whole, you know, perception thing as far as, you know, I know you personally, so I know your whole thing. Like, what's some advice you could give to Steph and to Jenny about, you know, just the reaction that some fans may or may not have towards you? You know what? At the end of the day, what people don't understand is, is that, you know, you really, the fan, it really doesn't matter, like, you can have people who love you or hate you, like, I always say that, and either way, it's still an obsession, so it doesn't matter if you're getting hate mail, like, it, I laugh when people are like, ooh, I hated you so much, I'm like, you really found me on MySpace, added me as a friend, and then wrote me an email to tell me how much you don't like me, mm, thank you, like, you know what I mean, so, either way, they're not gonna like you, but as far as the perception thing, like, you know, I know, and I really say, th these are the two things I say now, I only said one, is I feel like you have to have worked in a restaurant to eat in a restaurant, because sometimes I feel like people just don't know, like, because I used to bartend and stuff, and I'm like, oh, people don't know what's really going on, so it's like, you don't know how hard those people are really working for their money, or this, that, how they make a living, and so I say, you can't judge a reality show, or judge people on a reality show, until you go through it. Because you have a whole new right. respect for people, and you have a whole new, like, I could just automatically be like, this, like, it was so funny, because I was watching the Ray J thing yesterday, I already knew who was going to, you know, win, whatever. But the funny thing is, when I was watching it with my, with my, uh, my friends, and I was like, oh, you got two more commercials before they announce who the winner is. Because you just already predict it, like, he's going to recap what he's going to say, and he's got to give a good speech about both of them, and you know he's going to put a non-winner up to tell her that he was in love with the person who had the shocked expression in the back, like, so it's like people don't realize they already made your character how they want to make it. You're so right. it's like oh, right. People, people don't know that. So it's like, cool, look at me however you want to because they edit the conversation. They didn't, you know, like parodies when they had her talking about her cat. She was like, people didn't even show that Ray and I were kissing. It's like they're going to edit you however, so just tell people. Until you're on a reality show, don't don't tell me how I am. Right. It's, it's not going to work out if you if you really don't know what's going on and you don't know that they tell you you're on ice and you can't talk and, you need to wait till everybody's set up for this, that, and the third, or that 15 hours went by in between the competition and the, and the, you know, the elimination. People really can't talk because you really don't know what happened, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So he said a lot right there. <laughs> that is so, I mean, that is so, it's so true. Like, reality TV, they make you out how they want you to look on TV. You know, they already got their character for you and how they want you to look. Oh, yeah. You know, and like you say, don't talk about it unless you go through the process because you don't right. know what happened. And like I say, that's so, oh, my God, that's so true because you have so many bloggers, especially with me, just on the first episode and leaving the first episode, I have so many people just blog about me saying all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, you people got to be kidding me. You seriously will sign up on a site just to blog about me? Right? Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so crazy. That's yeah, so, and, and what's so funny is is people take this to heart. 
Like, that's what makes yes. me laugh. I'm like, you really are taking all this to heart when it's just like, you go see the Titanic and Jack dies. It's like, yes. it's a movie. It's not real. Like, I mean, it is real. And I, I, this is what I say. The reality part of us living there and being there and feeling or not feeling for someone, that's real. But how editing chops it up, it's like you have a steak. And then they chop it up yes. and they only give you the bone. And it's like, that's not even yes. what it was. Like, that's not even the meat part. Like, you didn't even show what just happened. You know what I mean? Like... So yes. I tell people, it's just like a movie. Don't take this, you know, literally. Like, don't don't really look into it like you saw all 24 hours, seven days a week, because you didn't. There's only an hour episode. Without commercials, you're talking 42 minutes of reality TV for two days of our lives. Yeah. The way I see it, the way I see it is like this, especially for the ladies, because for some reason, the ladies seem to get more... Uh, what 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 word should I put it? Yeah, I mean, you know, let's just keep it one one ten. Like, you know, the the ladies keep, you know, y'all get more, y'all get more screwed over. Like, the perception on y'all is more raw, and it's yeah. more uncut versus a guy that was on the um on one of the little shows. It could be for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? You know, sexist or whatever the case may be. But I always look at like at, at it like this, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Give me a chance to get to know you, and give me a chance. Like, if You're somebody right. say you a bitch, if somebody say you a bitch, then okay. Well, I don't know if you are, but give me a chance to get to know you. Let me judge that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you know, if if you are, then okay. Well, you probably won't get a phone call from me again. But if you if you cool people, then hey, let's let let's rock. You still in my favorite five. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there mm -hmm. it is. You know what I mean? But, yeah. but then let me let me ask you this: What what was you doing before you jumped on on the Frank show? What was you doing? Um, I was working for my dad. He owned the government contracting firm, so I was working for him in nine to five. And um, that's about it. I was gonna, I was in the process of um, going to school for cosmetology in September. That's when the show aired. But um, since uh, you know I got on the show, I couldn't do that. But um, yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay. Steph, I don't think I ever asked you that question, sweetheart. What, what, what was you doing before, uh, um, before the show? You know, oh, I no, no, no. On. You know what? Wait, let me yeah. ask that for you. You told me you was modeling, so, you know, yeah. so you, was, you was doing that thing before mm -hmm. you even jumped on. See, hey, I do, I do, even though my memories be selective sometimes, I, I got to keep the memory, though, like. All right, man. Nice. Hey, hey, you got to <laughs> give me applause for that shit, because, you know, sometimes I'll be forgetting. I'll be forgetting. But not like, you know, like Jen, like, in, in your, in your, and your future plans, like like from especially for from gaining some attention from being on on, on the VH1 show, um, what what do you plan on doing with this newfound uh, you know celebrity? I guess you could say stardom slash you know opportunities or whatnot. What what you plan on doing going forward? Um, as far as like the whole reality TV thing goes, like whatever pops off that's positive for me, I'm gonna get my hands into it. Whether it's acting or whether it's modeling or whether it's another show, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm not basing like my future on this reality show. Like, like I said, I was planning on going to cosmetology school, even though I have my degree in public relations. I want to open up my own spa and salon. So this whole VH1 reality thing is like kind of fun for me, like a hobby for me, and even modeling before I came on the show was a hobby for me. Like, it wasn't making me any money. Not to say that it couldn't, but it wasn't something that I was, like, you know, behind 100% so that it could make me money. But this whole VH1 reality TV thing, for me, it's just entertainment. It's fun. So whatever comes from it, you know, comes from it. If nothing comes from it, so be it. Like, it's not going to be the end of my life. You know what I mean? Right. So, okay, so you actually have a degree in public relations. Like, where would you go to school? I went to Johnson C. Smith in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, okay. Yeah. So as as you being a, a person in PR, you know what I'm saying, doing doing stuff like that. I mean, can you see yourself getting a a, a big gig at a at a big corporation doing public relations, or or is, is that a dream that you that you have since you already got the degree? Not no, not really. My like my focus or my passion ever since young being young was uh always in hair, makeup, and, cos and cosmetology. I went to okay. school because um, I guess I'm a good people person and I like talking to people. So, I mean, I wasn't just going to go straight to cosmetology school with no degree. So I felt like I might as well get a degree in something that, you know, is natural to me. But now um, I just really want to go ahead and pursue what I want to do, what I know how to do naturally, and that's going to make me money as a, you know, as a businesswoman. Yeah. So. 
damn, it sounds like you just went and just knocked out a degree in PR work just, just off of, just on a whim, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, hey, people need to pay attention, like, if she can get a degree and that's, like, her second priority and she knocked it out and still got a degree, God damn it, get your ass back in school and go knock something out, like, you know, especially if, if you got a passion for it, because I, I, I can respect that, though, because, you know, it's, you know, it's something, your, your passion is your first priority, you know what I'm saying, and having a backup plan is, is definitely a, a good look, so I, I commend you on that, though. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. For real. Steph. Mm-hmm. Throw, throw a question out to my girl, you know what I'm saying? You on here, too, to throw some questions oh, out, you know man. what I'm saying? Steph, come on, Stephanie, you know, <laughs> like, that's okay. Jenny's your girl, so, you know, give us, give us something, give us some dirt, something. Like you know, that people just don't know, like you know what I'm saying? Like we, we don't we don't we don't hide over here. We we come out we come out blazing, right, Kip? We do what we do. <laughs> yeah. Well I'ma, say, well I'ma say this. Um instead of instead of asking her a question, I'm gonna say this. Um Jen is a person, you know, she keep herself well kept. So someone would probably look at her and say you know, she's bougie, she's bougie, or maybe she's stuck up. But was, like I say, when we met in the house, it was so funny because we were so distant from each other. But we were the ones to click. You know, I didn't think she was going to be the way she was, but when, but when me and her got to talking, I was like, you know what, Jen is so cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could, I could talk to Jen because me, I'm the type of person I sit back, I observe a lot, and I keep a small circle of friends too. For me and her to click like that, you know what I'm saying, they let you know it's something about her. Because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, females are not my cup of tea at all, but, she, but Jen is a beautiful, great person. Like, I hang out with her anytime. Um, I love her. I do anything for her. You know, I'm glad I met her as a friend. But she's a great person. So how they perceive her on the show is totally opposite. It's totally opposite. She's not stuck up at all. She's a great person to me. She's a lover, not a fighter. That's another thing about Jen. She's so laid back, and she's so chill. Now, see, that's the difference between us. We night and day when it comes to that. Jenny chilling right now. She in her recliner. She just like, you know, yes. she's doing an interview right now. Like, she good. Like, life is good right now. Uh-huh. I can tell just by the sound yes. of your voice, girl, you chilling. Either you hella you know, tired or you just like relaxed right now, like no, that. I'm, I'm I mean. relaxed, like I'm chilling in the bed with candle lit, everything, looking at Wendy on the TV. Hey, like, I'm chilling. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just you know, that's just something that I would be friends with outside of the house, you know, like if we didn't meet in the house, I would be friends with her. She just got to fight, like we are different, but we are, you know, very similar. Like, we both care ourselves, like, okay. So I'm kind of like, she'll get up in your ass, like, she a hothead, and I'm kind of like, she's like, <laughs> calm. And what y'all didn't see on the show is, um, what happened, Steph? It was, um, Mandy. Mandy, oh, my <laughs> God. Me and her kept clashing, but they didn't yeah, show I, that. I, to her, I kept trying to tell Steph, keep cool, please. Just keep cool. <laughs> we can get through this first day. Do not get sent home for flipping something over on this chick right here. But I'm trying to tell her, just keep cool, babe. Just keep cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, that, um, that, uh, the, y'all mentioned Mandy. That's, that's that, uh, that Caucasian chick, right, that kind of look like, um, no, nah, I'll, I'll be saying too much. Oh, you were saying right. Angelina Jolie, weren't you? Well, I mean, was she, I don't know, but I could have swore somebody, uh, somebody, I seen something on a blog or whatever, I don't know if it was true that, you know, they specifically got her on the show because of her, her, her personality, like, you know. I when think they, so. When they cast, when they cast people, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's even funny calling y'all castmates because, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, I guess that's what it is, I mean, but actually it's not, but. I don't know. See, that's why I get confused. Like, you know, I'm like, wow. Like, I don't even. That know. got like, to be her. That got to be her. Cause like, Mandy. No, what I saw though, what I saw though mm-hmm. was like, you know, like it was a VH1 blog or something like that, and they were saying that, you know, only reason why she, you know, she, and I want to say Mandy, I could be wrong. The reason mm-hmm. why she came on there was because she, you know, she's a good actress, so she was portraying herself to be a certain way on the show or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and, and that's one of the main reasons why. 
while she was on there. Like, to me, I think that's like, especially when you're doing a love show, like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. To me, it just don't make no sense to me. Like, you should try to bring out, like, if someone got a cool, goofy personality, like, okay, fine. You know, and you just so happen to be sexy, that's what's up. But, you know, try to, try to, when you find, when you're trying to find love, just let, let, let your personality shine. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's TV. I guess people ain't going to do whatever the hell I say, but I'm just voicing my opinion. You know what? You can be talking about somebody else. You could be talking about Annie. Yeah, there you Yeah, go. I think you're there talking you about Annie, because Annie, um, it's a blog out about her being some kind of character or something yeah, she's that's, got that's going her on. Right there. That's her. Yeah. yeah, you're talking about Annie. Yeah, I mean, how, how do y'all how do y'all feel about that? Like, I mean, I know y'all probably had intentions on, on trying to see what Frank was about, and, you know, <laughs> I'm laughing, but, you know, one day being in a relationship with this dude, but... <laughs> 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 I had to lie because I mean that motherfucker can't afford y'all. I'm just saying, like exactly, you ain't got no job. Like if you ain't got no job, then how do you? Y'all girls you know? cannot really be attracted to him. Like even though you said he has a good body and you knew what you were signed up and getting into, like come on now. Like I don't mean it like that, but I mean maybe y'all are like, hey, maybe I can find love or you know whatever. But yeah. right, like no. No, they, and you couldn't have at, at all caught feelings for him. Like I've said this before, like, on my list of men I want in my life, it's not someone who's 40 who lives in the basement and, like, has been on two reality shows and not done nothing. Like, last time they did the, what, the I Love Money, What Are You Doing Now? He was working at the pizza place. Mm -hmm. Like, was, was that really his house that y'all was at? Like, really? Was that his real house? You know what? Oh, if it no. wasn't, they portrayed it to be his house. Because I right, keep but, hearing so but, many different stories about it. Were there that secret room. rooms, though? Right. Like, were there rooms? That's what I'm saying. Like, you know how, yeah. like, I know in our house it's the same as the Daisy house, except they do elimination in the, on the top of the roof, but we couldn't. That with access is blocked off to, to us. And I knew, like, sometimes I'd go and, like, move the wallpaper, and I know it would be, like, a bathroom. And I was like, where the hell did this come from? Like, I know they completely changed it. Like, did it look as if something was, like, like movable, like they could use the house again, or was like in the middle of a residential area. No, you know what, Jenny probably could answer that because I stayed in the house okay. one night. So Jenny, like when I they pulled know. you up, when they pulled you up, did you go? Was it in a residential? Like, could you wave to his neighbors yeah. and be like, "What up?" Like yeah. that? It was residential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was residential. It's a residential but it was not his house, and he even said that on plenty of interviews, it was not his house. The house was staged. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, but oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the neighbors outside looking at us. You know, it's regular, regular. Everything was regular. Was he even like nice? Was he even like a good like kisser? Was he like at all like? I haven't had the chance to meet Frank, and it's not on my list of top ten things to do in my life. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I'm just saying, like, was he at all like? Because I've seen his character, and you know. And I've seen the way he could be such an ass to different guys and whatnot. Like, was he at all nice? Like, was or was he just like a jerk off the bat? I mean, to me, he he treated me like a lady, like because I demanded that he treat me like a lady, so he did so. I mean, um, I know that when I spoke to him after the show, he was very much like how he is on I Love Money, very loud, very explosive, very rude, very aggressive. Like, that's his natural personality, so. He was like basically just trying to act he was acting on the show. But I mean, he was damn well he was gonna act like he treated me like a lady because he wasn't gonna disrespect me or talk to me crazy. That's all. Yeah. No, nah, I I just I just personally like like I, I ain't I ain't a, like we are no, I ain't a big fan of that dude, like, you know, it's you know, I I respect the man. He I know he making some bread off this show, so you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But uh you know, at the end of the day, do both y'all ladies kind of feel like, hey, you know what? I'm good by not even trying to, you know, by not going super far into this whole thing because, you know, it, it just works yeah. out better. Well, especially with me, um, like I say, after um, my time with him, a lot of things kind of turned me off anyway. So even if I would have made it to the end, I would have told him we could only be friends. You know, because um, 
Especially with him smoking cigarettes and all that stuff, like that's a big turn off to me. Girl, I don't want to smoke cigarettes too. Girl, exactly. I don't smoke cigarettes and I don't want to kiss nobody that smokes cigarettes. And I definitely don't want to kiss nobody who don't Thank have you. New York stuff all in his mouth. You know what so, I'm saying? So, so, Steph, so that means that means that dude couldn't like, you know, he couldn't smoke like, you know, a whole pack of cigarettes and then turn around and be like you know, whisper to you, I love you, girl, and tongue you down, like, that wouldn't work. Not at all, no, because wow. that is na- that is gross. That is nasty. Hell no. <laughs> you know what I don't get in these reality shows? You know, you know you're kissing and you know you're close to the person, you know? And I don't get it. Like, I guess him with cigarettes and Chance, like, I don't know, I never kissed real, but Chance, he always had weed breath. And I was like, dude, oh. like, this is not okay because cigarettes are one thing, but you smell like a You smell like a joint right now, and I just feel like, you know what I mean? Like, this isn't even, that's not even right to be all up in, you know, ten ladies' faces, and you ain't even, like, you just smoked, and now you coming downstairs. Like, can you brush your teeth? Or, like, we got to talk, like, real exactly. close, like, for the next, like, 30 minutes, and you really smell like... It's not okay. Like, I was just like, man, you need to get your life in order if you're just going to come down on a reality show that you're making out with girls and you smell like, you know, you just rolled yourself in cigars and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Like, no, don't put that taste in my mouth. At least put some mints or something in your mouth. Thank um, you. I can't. <laughs> I guess they feel like they don't care. Like, if I'm going to, they probably look at all of us like, oh, these are just a bunch of hoes coming on my show. Why do I care? So, they don't, mm-hmm. they don't care. So, it's like, fuck it, I'm going to do whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm do whatever you allow me to do. That's right? That, that's, that thing that, that's that thing that people call perception. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's so many people that actually would, uh, you know, I mean, I know they look at y'all different, you know what I'm saying, just by just by being on the shows and stuff like that or whatever. So, I mean, you know, what's, what's I mean, Steph, unless something changed, you still single, right? Yes. Okay. N- nothing's changed over the last couple of weeks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nope, not over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Jenny, what not about you? Are, you? are you single or do you plead the fifth? No, I'm still single. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, now, now my question is, uh, what, well, what, well, well, Kip, what about you? Like, before I even ask that question, so, like, some change in your in your lane over the last couple of weeks? Like, you still single too, or, or not? Nah? Or you plead the um, fifth too? Man, Brandon, what? Every I mean, time, every time she calls like that, that means she got a little complicated situation. Something going so, on. <laughs> we got, we got. Because, you know, when, when she's single, single, she be like, yeah, I'm single. Like, now mm-hmm. it's, it's a different story. So you ain't got to say no more. I don't even want to hear what you got to say now. It's, it's done. <laughs> Just leave the feel. Forget it. Forget it. Man. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gone. All I have to say is, Brian, didn't you see I, get, I got kicked off the show? That's it. Right. That's all I got to say. I got kicked off the show. So, you know, like, I'm not dating chance that's all you need to know as far as like wow. dating thing on that that's all you need to know no i just kidding you know what some people want to know like you know because they maybe they want to try to put their bid in or something like that like you know it's, it's, I, think, it's all. Uh, I think VH, you know i know it's a lot of the the bad vh1 kids i mean they're all single they need to give us our own show like really kind of like not like the bad girls club even though I've never seen an episode of the Bad Girls Club, but they just need to put us up in a house somewhere, tropical, Miami, maybe, and just let us right? be. Let us just mm-hmm. buzz. <laughs> you said tropical, too, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't want to be in, like, you know, Chicago on a, on a, on a, in a December and shit like that, huh? You want to be you want to be in, in, in Miami in the summertime yeah. or in the Bahamas or something like that, right? Like, all right. be in Miami. Yeah. All right, well, we're pitching it out there right now. If y'all think that'll be a good idea for Jenny, Stephanie, and, and Blonde Baller to, to, to go in there and do that thing, just, you know, send some uh, send some donations your way. Send it over here to P.O. Box. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, but, like, the single ladies, like, you know, is, is y'all cool being single, you know what I'm saying, for now? Or is it that you still kind of miss being, you know, being in a relationship with somebody that, that's comfortable? Well, um, I think we all get 
you know, we have our days where we get lonely, but when you're single, you have no limits. I mean, you don't have to answer to nobody. So it's like a great feeling. But like I say, you know, at times, you know, we just have one of those days where you be like, oh, come on, oh man, I'm lonely. Step over there, step over there giving a politically correct thing. You know damn well if nobody ain't going to answer to you anyways. Like, you know, like, I don't answer to nobody. You know, if you want to do right. it, not yeah. step, right? You won't, you won't like, get right. in my ass. <laughs> step, step, you know, you know damn well you the type of woman that if you had a dude, you wouldn't answer that. Fuck you. Be like, hey, keep it no. going. No, no, I promise. Really like, when I, like, when I'm committed to somebody, you will see, like, a totally different stuff. Cause I'm really committed, so you know I will, I will. If I'm into you and I'm feeling you and I'm giving you my all, you know I do whatever it is to satisfy you and make you happy. And that's what a woman can do. That's exactly what a woman can do. Yeah, and other than that, nah, then it's gonna be like fuck you. I do what the hell I want to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> nah, but I mean, you know, I I think any time that you're in a relationship, and I'm just saying this from a guy's point of view. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think you shouldn't have to answer to a dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? If if you if you rocking your movement, you doing your thing and if it's in, in context to what the relationship is all about, then you know, you should never have to answer to nobody, like for real. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know, to me a relationship should be a, a, an add on plus. It should never detract from what you're trying to do with yourself. So if you ain't if you ain't got a dude in your life that's um that's really pushing your line, meaning they 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 for your your career movement and for your own mm -hmm. personal growth, then you don't need to be with that dude. Like, you're right. You're so right. You know I mean? You're so that's, right. That's the same with me. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna be in a relationship being a single dude. I ain't gonna be in one until I know like hey you you pushing my line too. We gonna do something together. We gonna we gonna be about X Y Z and we gonna make this happen as a as a us thing. You know what I mean? So. You know that's that's what I believe in, but you know, Jenny, I didn't I didn't get your um I didn't get your your take on it. You know, you you cool being single? You miss it? What's up? Uh, well, I mean, <clears throat> I know on the show I told the one that I never had a boyfriend before, and that is very much true. Everyone what? seems to be like, oh, you know, that's a lie. I don't believe that. Da 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 da. Whatever. But no, I I want to be in a relationship with somebody. You know, um. I'm, I'm tired of being single, honestly. Okay. That's the bottom line. I'm tired okay. of being single, but I'm not going to settle just like anybody. So, no. so Jenny's taking Jenny's taking applications. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you know, you gotta you gotta come correct. You can't come with uh you know just a uh, just a dude that just want to be in a relationship. and You ain't got nothing else going for yourself. Meaning your head ain't okay. right. You ain't got no car, no job, X, Y, Z. I mean, if you ain't got no car, you better either have a limo or you catch the bus or you better still have some bread. Can't be living with your mama. I'm putting that out there right now. Don't live with your mom. Don't live in the basement. You know what I mean? Don't, don't do all that stuff, like, for real. Like, if you ain't if you ain't got yours, something you could call yours, then, nah, Jenny's not going to be about it, right, Jenny? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speaking on your behalf. I'm just speaking on your behalf, like I'm your I'm your publicist, like yeah. hey, you know what I mean, for real. Nah, but you know what I mean. I, I think off top, that's just how that's how you know. I just look for that person, and I and I'm pretty sure y'all ladies do the same, right? Y'all look for that person that's gonna help you grow, that want to see you succeed, that don't hate if you know your shine your your shine is brighter than they shine, like you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know if. if if I get if if I had the opportunity to get with any one of y'all, y'all shine y'all shine brighter y'all shine because y'all on TV and shit y'all y'all was good. So mm -hmm. you know if you get all that extra attention, I would not give a damn. Like you know Kip and and Jenny and Stephanie, like I don't care. I'm I'm gonna still support you. I'm gonna hold you down. Mm -hmm. I put up bands. Uh, I put on no. my pom poms if I have to. It's, it's all good. I don't have a problem with that. You know what? Really though, it's kind of hard to like have a relationship though because. I know, like, one of my relationships has ended because of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's because you're always going out, you're always going to club events, like, you're always doing this, you're always doing that, you're always doing, like, racy photo shoots, and you always got auditions to go to, and it's like, they're like, I just remember, like, being like, you know when you go to the club, you don't want that person to go with you, not because you don't care about him, but networking, people are not trying to talk to you if you're with a dude, you know? And then they'll be like, oh, you want me to sit at home? Like, man... 
knock it off. Like, if you want to go out with your friends, go out with your friends. That's why I say, like, I wouldn't say I'm single, but I'm, I wouldn't say, like, I'm taking because it's like I have people I talk to, you know, but because people can't handle stuff, it's just oh, like. Cute, 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 yeah. cute. There's no, like, stamp, like, blonde baller's boyfriend. Like, nah, it's nothing like that. It's yeah, like people like, who, like. Put it like this, Kip. It's a whole bunch of people that wants to potentially be your man. But well, shoot me over an application on Twitter. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, no, I'm just saying. They haven't, they haven't stepped that game up then. That's that's pretty much how, how, how it's going down there, right? Right. But I'm that chick, the one who you said would be like, like, I like I treat it like, you know, when you're with me, I treat it like kind of like hell week. Like, not like that for real, but I'll be like on you, like back muscles, like, you know, as far as putting you through the ringer, like, hey, I'm going to go to this event, watch people do this, that, and the third, like, are you going to be okay with this? Like, I don't ease them in. Like, I just give it to them all off the bat. Like, this is what's going to happen. Just to see if they'll back out, because I'm sure, like, these girls will find out. It's hard. It's hard to keep someone in your corner when they're like, man, you're getting a lot of shine, and I'm not getting nothing. Hey, I'm going to put it like this. You know what I'm saying? If if I if I had the opportunity to be with any one of y'all ladies, and if y'all tell me that shit, and I'm saying it live on the motherfucking air right now on the radio, like I would not have a problem. I'll be like, hey, go have fun. Just just call me when you get home. Be safe. You know what I'm saying? Or or if you if you living with me, or if you coming back to to the crib, hey, just let me know when you're on your way, and, and I'll, I'll run a bath or whatever the hell you want me to do. It's done. It's not a problem. If I beat you home, it's all good. You go work, you go handle your business, and, I mean, you know, not a care in the world. Just make sure you be safe when you come home. That's all. I wish all men was like that. Right? Right? Yes, That's please. what I'm saying. No. no. <laughs> yeah, no, no it don't go it's like that. Still, it really doesn't go like that. It's, like, not like that at all. Like, it's not at, at all. At all. At all. But you ain't dealt with Brandon before, though. I'm just saying. Hey, Steph, you know how damn well you'd be, like, on a club flyer, and then you'll try to tell him, like, oh, no, I'm not going to that club. And then they'll be, like, showing up. And like, damn it, I forgot it was a club flyer with the name on it. Damn it. It says it right on there. You'd be, like, now everyone knows. Yeah, that's how we be like, hey, are you, I'll, I'll tell you, hey, Kip, you going to the, you going to the club? You're, like, nah, I ain't going to the club. And I'll be like, wait, 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 it's, what, what, what the hell is this fly right here with your face on? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, hey, no, on. but I remember trying to tell someone I was at a different club because they were already out, and I was, like, hosting at, uh, I believe it was club. I want to say it was Shark Club. And I was like, no, nah, I'm at uh, Cabana in Hollywood. And they were like, man, bitch, you on the floor. I was like, oh, okay. um, you know, because they just, like, don't want them to show up and not, like, knock your networking when they're just, like, when you just get to know them, you know? Because they're like, you're not even ready for all this right now. Like, people are just, I don't know. I mean, you try not to get people too involved in what you're doing. Like, that's what I always tell people. There's two separate characters. There's Blonde Baller and then there's Kip, you know? Yes. And when I'm Blonde yeah. Baller, don't be, up in my, don't be up in my face. Like, you know what I mean? She's single, she's this, that, and the third, and then you have Kip, and she's totally different, you know? It sounds like a split personality, but it's just like, no. Oh, so basically, in other words, it's like you, you people got to get to know both the entertainment, right. the entertainment right. part of who you are and the personal part, the personal side of you. And, yep. and it's going to have to be blended in because if, it, if it's not, then it's going to be a problem. But you know what? I, I think every male, you know, they, they some of us have some insecurities and shit, but at the end of the day, I think, uh, you know, the, the strong male is going gonna, is gonna to hold y'all ladies down. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the good ladies, like, you know what I'm saying? Jenny, Steph, Kip, you know what I'm saying? Like, you going to know, you going to know in your heart of hearts. Like, Kip, you kind of like on the fence about the dudes you're dealing with. You should never have to be on the fence. That dude should be able to show you, like, every day, like, hey, you know what? I got you. It's just the little things in our industry, you know, like, it's like, you know, like, the photo shoots. Stuff like that. that. You know what I mean? Oh, you go to a photo shoot. Well, did you think I was shooting in a nun's outfit? Or what were you, like, no, thinking was going to sell? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
Like, y'all, y'all some beautiful women. So if y'all going to do your model thing, do it. Be proud. You know what I'm saying? See, if, if I was any one of y'all, man, I'd be like, yeah, that's my girl right there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they're proud, but they're also like, you know, they're also like, yeah. that's my girl. I'm not trying to have her ass seen by 50,000 trillion people. And it's just like, mm, well, you're going to. If, if you a model, and if you was a model before you met me, then you're going to be a model anyway. So to me, a, a dude's insecurity should Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's why my relationship ended because when I before I did real chance, I kid you not. A week before, I'd never done modeling, never done acting. I didn't even have a MySpace, Facebook, Twitter. I didn't have nothing. I told you I was pre-law, get my degree from Cal State Fullerton, double major, book nerd, and that was it. So it wasn't like I was doing that before. I got cast walking out, you know, of the Rose Bowl for a Snoop concert. It wasn't even. It was a week later, and now you're on this show. And then that's when that all, you know, came. And then he was like, me, that's what he used to say. He was like, before I met, you weren't that, you know? Let me, let me tell y'all this, though. Like, even if you make career changes, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you're doing porn, you know what I mean? You're doing... You're no, doing, yeah, but going from having porn, nothing and clothes on to but, nothing and your girl all exposed, like, you're going to have harsh feelings. You're going to be like, dude, that's I not what I signed up for. I'm, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't. If you, if you talk to your man, though, like, if you be like, hey, this is really my passion this is what i want to do this is this is a cool but that's what i'm saying like your passion you know what i mean like your passion to go kiss another dude on national television really like you know what i mean not really like you know what i mean that's not a passion see but if, if you was like if you would tell me hey this is this is some active shit i'm doing right now like you know what i mean like if you if you like kip if i'm with you and if you do a movie and you got to passionately kiss some dude or you got to do a sex scene or whatever i would not have a problem with that you're doing your job. You handle but that's the thing is, you're not most dudes. Like, you know? Yeah. That's the you're not most point. dudes. you really not. Like, I would, I you, would not you're even, a cool dude. I'd be like, hey, that girl making money for us. You know what I mean? Exactly. We ain't giving up for that. You know what I mean? That's no, that's yeah, good. definitely. But that's not how most guys see it, you know? Yeah, that's like, bad, though. Uh, those, right. are the shallow, those are the shallow people that, that will not be able to hold down strong women like yourself. So... Jenny, mm -hmm. that tip, that's just they fucking lost, and, you know, I'll make sure I send y'all my applications in about a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'll fax them over, you know, I'll e-file it, I'll do whatever, you know what I mean? So, I'll hey, e-file it. I'll do what, whatever needs to be done, you dig? So, hey, let me go ahead and, and take some callers that's been on the lines real quick. And, uh, okay. Hey, we rocking right. with uh, Jenny, Steph, Kip. Kip sound like you in Beirut, like, yeah, you sound like you in traffic, girl. You always in traffic, playing ball. Man, I told you. Man, knock it off. I'll put my phone on you. Kip, Kip be in traffic, like, shout out to Kip, though. I didn't audition today, and then I play ball. I told you. Kip playing ball while she's doing the interview right now. Prison like, ball. <laughs> Prison ball. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, let me take this call with my man from the 785. You know what I'm saying? Vernon P. D. in the building tonight on Tuesday Ladies Night, man. Say what's up to the ladies. You ain't got to say what's up hey. to me, bro. Hey, what's up, hey. D? Hey. Hey, what's up, hey, you know, I've been listening to y'all. You know, I'm, I'm kind of mellow out now because y'all know normally when I come on the show, I be hyped. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I've been listening to y'all. <laughs> what y'all laughing for, man? Y'all about you to be laughing at you talking about you be hyped. What you so hyped about? Man, I just be hyped. Brandon knows me. So he turned the mic on. It's on. You it's know on. what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, man, what, what you, I know you got comments on, on Steph and Jenny, you know what I'm saying, and, and Kip. You know, you already know Kip because Kip always be on here. Kip is just, you know, she she's automatically in in, in there. But Jenny, Jenny's, the, Jenny's the new person, you know what I'm saying, and Steph's only been on one time. So, you know what I'm saying, what, what are your thoughts about the whole, you know, getting rid of two beautiful black women, you know what I mean? Like, what's what's up with that? You know what? You know, like, when I saw that shit, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's real talk, like, I don't even watch that show. Like, if, if like, it's a rerun run, because, you know, VH1 play reruns, like, day by day. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? If I ain't got nothing going on, I turn that shit on or whatever. I watch the show, and you know what I'm saying? Jenny, what Jenny is? I'm right here. You know, you know I was watching the episode. You know what I'm saying? That they, that they kicked you off on. Now, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, damn. You know, he was like, yeah, I got this picture or whatever. And I'm like, I'm thinking, damn, she must have did some foul ass shit. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? 
And then they, wow. showed the picture. they showed the picture blurred. So I'm like, man, what the fuck the picture was? So I, I hop on the Internet, look it, look it up. I'm like, that's the picture? I'm right. like, damn, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That looks like that looks like she came out the shower and a motherfucker was just waiting for her and just took a picture. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm like, he kicked you off because of that. But you know what? The one thing I will say, and this real talk, this ain't me blowing smoke up your ass. Real talk, like the way you left the show, it was real respectful. And I respect that about you. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't get up there like some girls and be like, oh, fuck him. He's still living in his mama basement. He's going to live there forever and all that. You know, you they were trying to come at you sideways. And you know what I'm saying? You kept this. Stuff. And I appreciate that about you because you ain't make black people look ignorant. Like, Thank you. Uh, be on boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I Bill and Chan, that. them niggas some of the corniest niggas i ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I ain't even going to get on that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to stick to the script. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, anyway, I respect that about you. You know what I'm saying? I, I like the way you kept it You kept it classy or whatever. And believe me, you, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a dude that's going to holler at you. That's going to be everything you want. You know what I'm saying? Because you keep it okay. classy. Thank you, so, lover. No, 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 it's no <laughs> problem. And, and that's word up. I mean, actually, that's that's for both y'all ladies. And actually, that's for you too, Kip, yeah. even though you got, you know, probably 50 million dudes, like, you know, that you could choose from. Like, you just trying to figure out what's up. But, nah, like, yeah. both of y'all ladies, like, you know, I, I love y'all energy. Y'all spirit is 100%. You know what I mean? I, I love that about you. Know what? Steph, Steph you know, I already, you already you know, you, know you, so what's up, bro? Huh? Stephanie shouldn't even been on the show. Stephanie too motherfucking hood for that show, man. <laughs> I listen up. I see her twitch. You know what I'm saying? I see her twitch. You know what I'm saying? Then I, I hear her talk on the show. You know what I'm saying? She, she, that, he, that nigga probably saw that shit and was like, hell no, nah, I can't. Nah, but, hey, but you know what? Nah, that's that's why that's why when I asked Steph that question about you know what I'm saying, like like the whole dude thing with the you know answering to a dude, I'm like, man, come on, Steph, you know, Steph, if Steph need the latest smack down on somebody, she gonna smack somebody down. That's just how exactly. Steph rolls. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's why, that's why I'm behind. Like, if I was Steph's dude, I'd be like, hey, you know what? I got a strong-ass woman by my side, but I bet not fuck up. Because if I do, she going to lay it down. Exactly. She going to lay it down. I know, I know Stephanie's from my hood, you know what I'm saying, just like that. I'm like, hell no, nah, she ain't even need to be on the show. No. Like, you hey, should. Hey, you know what? <laughs> And, and you know what? Let me, let me say this to Jenny because you know I, I think I think what what she said earlier, Steph, about you know a lot of people kind of like the perception on Jenny could be like mm-hmm. you know she's this, she's that, or whatever. Nah, like I never did. Like I never ever ever with reality show women, men, or people that's in between. Like you know I don't know if they men or women, but I'm just saying like you know I've never like you know, put somebody out there because, oh, she acted a certain way on TV because I don't never believe that, like, like, in Jenny's situation, like, you know, hey, she just seemed like she real, like, you know, reserved, but, you know, what I did notice was that, you know, that dude had to win you. You didn't have to go win him. That's that's the perception how I kind of got off of it, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of felt like you really wanted that dude to really come get you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he really wanted you, you did? I felt like... I, 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 that's how I felt. That's how I honestly, I felt. I felt like, you know, you're looking at me like this. You're telling me, oh, you're the prettiest girl in the house. You're showing me. If you want me, like, if you really want me like how you say you want me, come get me. I'm right here. Okay. And he didn't do that. Like, he was intimidated. Either he was scared or he just felt like he wanted me to be more aggressive towards him. Like, no, I was only in the house for five days, and I wasn't going to, chase him down and sleep with him or, you know, stuff my tongue down his throat. No, I'm not going to do that. If you wanted me, you should have had, you know, enough game or enough swag to come and get me. But mm. you mm. couldn't. You couldn't. Sure. So. You should have you paid attention, though, because, you know what I'm saying, you you are beautiful. Like, I'm, I'm not, like I said, I'm not blowing smoke up, you know. But mm-hmm. this dude live in a house with his mama. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? With his mama. And he already get everything he wants. Like, this dude, I, I don't even know if that's his real house or not. Nah, you, know house, yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He live with his mama, man. 
it just seemed like, you know, hey, when it when it be he be at the crib with his parents and shit, his shit start raining hella hard, thunder and lightning. He he the type of dude that'll just like squeeze right up in the middle of their bed. His mom and daddy be like with his, with his shit, wow. up this type of shit. You know what I mean? Like for real. Now, exactly. I mean, you know what, but people gonna beat that shit up to death because to me, I mean, bottom line though. I mean, you can still, like, the people out there that live with your mamas, hey, if you do, I hope it's for a good reason. Literally, if you're taking care of your moms, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're doing something, you know, that, that, that you need to be there, then okay, I'm, I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I love my mama to death. She don't live with me. I live by my damn self. But I'm just saying in general, like, if, if that's what some people got to do to do it, then that's cool. But if, you just, if, you're just, if you're just there just because you want your mama to take care of you, yeah, that's, that's, you need to call the police on your ass and get your ass out of the house. Because you, you know, know what, my sister, my sister, you know what I'm saying, she stayed with my mom. My sister, she's 28 years old. The reason why she stayed with my mom, you know what I'm saying, my mom been sick, you know what I'm saying, she can't really move about like she want to, you know what I'm saying, but she stayed with my mom. And that's one of the strongest black women. I ever have known I mean, in my but life. See, that, I, that's the past right there, though, bro. I mean, that, exactly. that's the past because, you know, mom's not mom's not well. So she's stepping up to the plate. She being a real daughter to the mom, and, and that's that's respect, man. I, I would I would always respect somebody doing that. But if you're just living at home just to, you know, have your mama cook dinner for you and breakfast and, you know, take yeah. you in at night and shit like that, and you a grown-ass man, nah. <laughs> nah. That's, it. that's man. another thing I wanted to I wanted to come in on, you know, I heard y'all talking about, you know, the men and the women in the relationship. Let me tell y'all something, you know what I'm saying? This just from a nigga that just been hurt, you know what I'm saying? Like, with me, I grew up in the South, you know what I'm saying? And the way we grew up, you know, the men supposed to be like the heavy hitter of the family. Like, we supposed to take care of the women. If y'all want to work, then that's fine. If y'all don't, then we still got you. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> when, when you see your woman doing better than you, it's a little, it's not intimidating, but it's a challenge. You know what I'm saying? And some men take it as, like, the challenge to be like, oh, shit, this this motherfucker. Or some men take it like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I got to be better than her. And, like, you, you were talking about, like, BB, you were saying, you know, sometimes you have to go to the club, you got to do your promotion shit or whatever. And that's cool or whatever. But I feel branded on one sense, and I feel you on one sense, because I'm like, Real, real talk. I know you did real chance a little. I know you blowing up and doing your shit or whatever. Like, I don't want 50 million motherfuckers looking at my girl. I don't give a it damn. Ain't, yeah, and I'm it gets really, bad, too. I'm People really, be pulling on you. You trip over tables. Exactly. I would. Let, like, me, let me tell you why I wouldn't trip. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying this because if I'm comfortable in my relationship with my lady, like if I'm with Kip and we good, we solid, like our relationship can blow past any... Right, but there's some things that, some things, okay, I'm sorry. Like, to me, like, that that is the most common sense type of thing ever because if I'm comfortable with you and I know, you know what I'm saying, hands down, she my girl and and faithful to a T and our communication, our vibe is unstoppable, then, you know what, I'm rocking that. I will not Mm -hmm. give a damn if... You know what I'm saying? If if you doing what you do, you making bread. It ain't like you out there doing it just because you want to do it. Now, you know, guilty conscience, if you are slipping, then that's 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 going to pay eventually. But I'm just saying, if you faithful and you really down for your man, just like your man should be down for you, it's, I don't give a damn what your profession is outside of, of, of porn. You know what I'm saying? You go do you and you go make bread, bring to the house, and we good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be proud. But that's not For even, real. like, what I'm saying, though, yeah. like, as on the faithful tip, like, that's not even what I'm talking about. Like, I know, like, for instance, like, once, like, for one instance, like, I was walking home from Ivar, or not walking home, I was going to my car from Ivar, and I was with a dude at that time who I was talking to, and I was, like, uh, walking, and there was a, a black dude, two of his friends, like, following me, my girl, and uh, Kayla, and her homegirl, Brittany, and then my dude at that time. And the, the black dude, I was like, hey, and he was like, hey, you're blowing baller, like, you bad, da 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 And I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. And then he was, I was like, this is my dude. And he was like, I don't give a fuck about your dude. And he's standing right there. And I was like, hey, and I tried to close my door, and the dude is opening the door, like, trying to get, like, almost damn near in my car with me. And my dude is chilling in the front seat, and he was like, I'm about to whoop his ass. And to do that every single night, like, you get booked. Like, I have three bookings this weekend. Like, Vice, then I went to Diddy's party. I did all this stuff, and I was like, okay, 
for you to have to do that every time you go out, for you to have to defend your girl, for some, you're talking about drunk dudes, for you to have to sit there and be like, I don't want to get a felony every time I walk out of here, because you're talking about good dudes. We're talking about Cali. Y'all are talking about, well, Brandy, you know, but I'm saying, you know, you know, you on the phone talking about you a southern dude or you a good dude. Like, you don't know how people just be like, I don't care that your dude is standing right next to you. And, like, and that gets oh, well, real annoying for some guys, like, but real you know quick. That's, that's the, see, that's the thing that most people would got to, you know, as a dude, you got to prepare for that. It's just like, you know, what if, what if, you know, Jenny, Steph, Kip, what if y'all just, like, make it in the movie business and y'all got a killer role, y'all got Oscar shit mm -hmm. popping, you know what I mean, real heavy. But that's right. when you don't watch your car. No, no, well, well, still, same thing, though. <laughs> I mean, it, it, shit can still go down at the same thing. Like, it's regular, it's regular actresses that's been in the game, you know what I'm saying, that's still having that kind of trouble because people want to either want to rush them for an autograph or... They want to touch them, or it, it, it's just the nature of the business that y'all in. It's just the, yeah. the man's got to have, the man that's in your life has got to have tough skin. Now, if I was in in, in the dude situation, yeah, I, I would have probably wanted to whoop that dude's ass, too. You know what I mean? Like, But that's that only dude. one dude. One dude from that night. You know what I mean? We're girls. Y'all don't see it. There's at least 50 of those yeah, people there you know doing what? that at night. But but you know what? End of the day, I could be like, hey, you know what? Hey, step off my lady, man. She's trying to get in her car. And if that dude, if he, if he's if he's coming on me, then I just gonna have, I'm just going to have to whoop his ass, period. Right, but you can't do that every night. It's called a felony. That's called battery. Like, that's hey. I feel like that just comes with the territory. I mean, being an attractive girl, even if you are out with the dude, like, guys are going to try and get at you regardless, but. Being yeah. that you all, like, being that we are, like, kind of in the public eye, like, this shit is going to happen constantly. It's, I, yeah. I don't even know how you deal with it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that you do got to beat up everybody, but sometimes you just got to ignore people because otherwise you're going to be fighting and cussing drunk dudes out oh, no every doubt. night. You're right about that, though. You're, you're right. I mean, about it. yeah, that, that's what I mean when I say you got to, you kind of got to go back into, you know, hey, you know what? Certain situations, if that dude lunges at me or lunges at you or, or comes and want to touch you and all kinds of shit, yeah, that, that dude, he's going to have to yeah. get restrained and he's going to get popped, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying, a mm -hmm. whole bunch of times. I'm just saying, like, but in general, yeah, you got to you gotta really, like, you know, as a, as a guy, you know what I'm saying, I would get offended by that, but it ain't it ain't Kip's fault, though. It ain't Jenny's yeah. fault. It ain't Steph's fault. It's the, the mm -hmm. stupid-ass groupie dude. But I don't think it is the whose fault it is. I think it's the repetitiveness. You know, you could let it slide one, two times, but when you're doing it every night, when that's your girl's career, when you make your money off bookies, when you're going to photo shoots where people are hitting on you, when you out in public and people are doing that, as a dude, you're going to get annoyed. I know, because as a girl, I would get annoyed. I'm not saying they're bad dudes or they can't handle themselves. I'm saying I understand why you don't want to be with me. I understand. Like, I'm not mad at you for that, because I honestly will be irritated, too. I really would. Let me, let me tell you all this real quick, because, you know, Shout out to my girl, Nicole, a.k.a. Hoops. You know what I'm saying? That's my home girl. I remember when we went out, um, not date, but, you know, when we went out and kicked it or whatnot, we, you know, she was getting pulled in, you know, 50 million different directions and shit like that or whatever. And, and you know, and she and, and there was a point in time where, you know, she pretty much was just like, you know, hey, you know, back the fuck up off me, basically. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of it, too, was just like, you know, I'm like, damn, how, how, how do you go through with this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? You get you can pull that, you know, every which way. Like, you know, I felt like, hey, I felt like I was about to be her bodyguard and shit real quick. But <laughs> what she told me was this. She told me that, you know, she's going to have a whole bunch of situations like that, and she has had a whole bunch of situations like that. But at the, at the end, there's no way that what's going on with the people around me is going to affect what I got going on with my dude. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. Yeah, what but her dude is also does. a basketball player. He gets that too. Like that's what I'm saying. You really gotta date somebody in the industry. Mm -hmm. No, she ain't, she ain't with that dude no more though. But you know what I'm saying. But I'm saying that relationship worked because he played ball. She understood he got grabbed. He understood it's a persona. He understood that that if you're not dating somebody in that industry. Somebody who's not is not going to understand. They're going to be like, this is stupid. Why do you do this? Why don't you get a nine to five? But see, check I it out, though. See, check it out real quick before I let you, before I let you speak. Real quick to, to say to that, it's like they knew your business before they got into your personal business. Like, it's the nature of it, though. It ain't no way around it. Actually, it might get worse, Kip. You know what I'm saying? So, 
You're going to have to groom your dude and let him know, hey, this is going to be the fallout if you can handle it. If you can't handle it, then, you know, we can't rock it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's something, it's, 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 it's not complex. It's just as simple as, as, as day and night. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it all depends on the strength of that guy. Like, if he's really, if he's willing to tolerate the bullshit fan that pops out there, because it's going to happen. But you know what? With, with that situation, like, I feel you on that, but, you know, like, let's, let's be realistic. Say, like, me and Kip was together, right? You know what I'm saying? And let's just say I, I, I'm a big-time actor. And Kip, you know, Kip's still where she at right now. You know, like, I, I'm pretty sure y'all know how women are. You know what I'm saying? Women are, are like, ridiculous when it comes to feet, male, you know what I'm saying, stars. You know what I'm saying? And I, I see the shit. I'm like, it, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a female a groupie will, like, go to your hotel room and wait for you. You know what I'm saying? Just that little incident, what Kip was talking about, where, you know what I'm saying, dude was trying to snatch you up. Like, as a man, you know what I'm saying? As a man, you know, you feel obligated to say something. But yeah. at the same time, yeah, at the same time, you like, okay, I don't want to take the reins too much because I don't want him to feel like, you know, I'm just this jealous psycho motherfucker that's going to kill everybody that talk to us. <laughs> and see, but that's what I'm telling you. That's when it becomes you're not coming with me anymore. You know, when that person comes out, when you know it's not, and that's what I'm saying. That's what usually is bad because you have to be like, hey, I'm going to go out alone with my girls because you know what happens and you know that it's just not a good thing for you to be there. Like, go out with your homies and have a good time, but I need to go do business, you know, knowing it's not a club for me anymore. It's business. This is business. I'm going there to network, say hi, you know, that's the set of whatever and leave. Yeah, but it's like, and guys and don't you know see what? how to separate that. They're just like, oh, my God. I'm going to go to the club again. You know that's where I met you. To say that's well, well, living that work, right. you know what I'm saying, they when they, they network, oh, my bad. No, nah, go ahead, bro. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, when women that work, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, I think women are, like, the best actors in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because even if they don't <laughs> like you, even if they don't uh -huh. like you, right, real talk, you know what I'm saying, they'll, they'll be nice to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to talk to you, be cool with you. Now, I'm pretty sure all three of y'all ladies that ran across the dude, they'll probably, like, butt fuck ugly. You know what I'm saying? That was just, like... <laughs> Well, what's up, girl? Blah 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 blah. And you were just like, oh yeah, oh huh, yeah, being nice. Oh yeah. But see, then when a dude, you know what I'm saying, a dude just don't give a fuck. Like, a, if a butt ugly girl come in, he'd be like, hey, you know, run interference, my nigga, and then dip out. You know what I mean? And, and see, that's the thing. Like, say, like Brandon, like you saying, you like you'll talk to you if you talk to Kip, blah blah blah, this or whatever. But let's just say, you know, like y'all, like Kip go to the club. I've all right, Kip. Mm -hmm. You go to Ivar, you know what I'm saying, and you chilling, doing your thing, right? And then, mm -hmm. say, Brandon, you walk in, you like, yeah, I'm just going to check it out for a minute, then I'm going to dip out, you know? And then you see her, like, all, like this ugly-ass dude just all up on her. And like, yeah, you know, blah, 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 talk to her, whatever. And she just being nice or whatever. Then you see him put his hand, like, I'm pretty sure y'all had this happen to you. He put his hand on your, your leg or something, be like, yeah, girl, oh, yeah. You know, I got this for you, or blah, blah, blah. And it's still being nice. You can't tell me not, not, not one part of your heart would be like, what the fuck is this shit? But that's what I'm trying to say is I understand. That's what I always tell them. I know I know how this looks. I know how this is. If I were you, I would not be with me. That's what I'm trying to say with the other girls on the phone. I understand why they're saying they're single, and I'm understanding why they'll stay single. And it's because, you know, it's like it's so hard because, you, you know, you get to like someone and they're like, oh, it's cool, I'm dating this person from this show. But then they actually see how your life is, and they're like, oh, no, I can't deal with this. Like, you know, this is not okay. I met you in the club. Even if you have a dude that you met, he'll be like, I put that same line on you. You know, or something like that. And you're like, okay, but it's different. How's it different? So unless you meet a good dude at church, then it's just really not going to work. Like, nah, you, already, you already explained. That's, what, that's why I, I asked that question to Brandon. I'm like, if you walked in the club and you seen, like, this dude, matter of fact, just think of a dude that you don't even like, and you see her, him talking to Kip. I'm like, yeah, girl, blah, 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 I got this lined up, and blah, and, and then all of a sudden you see that hand go on that leg, that motherfucking sexy-ass leg that you <laughs> caress every damn night. you just like, man, what the hell? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, yeah, what yeah, would you, I mean, you, you can't automatically be like, oh, she just, 
But check it out, though. There, I don't think there's no requirements for a dude to, you know, even go there and put his hand on my right. girl's leg. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. That shouldn't even. And if the girl is allowing that, not saying that you will, Kip, but if you allowed that, then that's your bad. That's not, that's not. Right, that's that not is. But I'm bad. saying, like, you can't, you can't really help, like, drunk people. Like, you can't help drunk people. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's automatically yeah, a bad situation see, to be in a club. But if I see, if I see that going down, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to jump to conclusions. I'm a, I'm a, if I'm there and I see it, I'm going to go assess the situation. If the motherfucker's drunk, then okay. You know what I'm saying? He can go move about his merry way. You know what I'm saying? But if that dude is just a regular dude, not drunk at all, just there, just having a conversation with you, then yeah, it's your bad for even like extending that hand and letting him have right. it on his leg. You know what I mean? My bad, like that one yeah, time, that, right? That, but that, you're that, talking that, about that, one that, night. That, that happens that, that, all that, the time. Hold on. The moral of the story is, especially for the guys, the guys got to really assess the situation first. It might be a drunk situation or it might be a straight up situation. So that's when you got to really like communicate with your lady and let your lady know, hey, you know, I don't really feel comfortable with that, you know sober dude with his hand on your on your shit like that like you know you should you know like politely just put that hand to the side and be like hey keep your hands to yourself bro you know what i mean it's just that's just one of them that's just one of them things though you know what i mean all that and to me and to me that's all communication though that's me understanding oh no you, yeah you and that's and me and then you know we just keep it moving you know what i mean so you know that's not that's all not that hard. Shit. that's what that's what i mean when i say i i I, my my daughter's mom, even though, you know what I'm saying, we, we ain't together, we ain't been together for, for years, you know what I'm saying, yeah. she was a model, she, the same stuff, so it's kind of like, you know, education-wise, I know, because I experienced it, you know what I mean, so, it's, I've been But there. that's what I'm saying, Brennan, I, I, like, it gets so, like, I understand what they're saying, but I'm like the rudest person, if you ask people, not like that, but I'm like, uh, any dude who yeah, you, you talk to is my friend, rude. I give them, like, the, the, rude. No, I'm saying I give them the stupidest dumb face when they come at me in the club. Like, I would just give them, if they touch me, I'll be like, personal space, homie, personal space. Like, I'm the quickest person to do that. Like, nah, don't touch me or I'll do the little. Kid, what you said right there, your dude should be comfortable with that, though. Right, but at, when it's dude after dude after dude and dudes follow you or dudes, you know, hey, I want a picture with you, and, they, and then after they take the picture, they're rubbing their hand on your back. Like, it's just stuff where you're just like, homie, like, really, really? Like, that's how, and, and it just, yeah. your dude would just get old. He'd just be like, no, nah, I'm done. Like, but this is some what? stupid stuff. But you know what? And it goes back to the whole thing about the person. You see, I, I would never get tired of it because to me it's just be like, I'm going to laugh at it. I'm be like, Kip, you see that motherfucker at it again? This dude is trying to get <laughs> on your line, like, heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I would laugh at the whole situation because I know who you're coming home to. And I know okay. where you're, where you where you where your relationship is, is held down at. It's held down at home with us. So I don't care about all that stuff that goes on in the club. You and me, we rocking. We good. And I'm, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Most dudes would, under, would understand your situation. You know what I'm saying? Either try to make it easy for you and, but when diffuse, and diffuse some of that, you know, and understand the fact that, hey, it's going to be like that when it's going to be hella dudes, even hella females. Hella females might be on your line heavy. You know what I'm saying? But when it's but, your job, when it's your job, you'd be like, man, you just need to get another job. No, exactly. I, I, you know what? A dude that's secure with his relationship we should never, ever tell you that. Never. Ever. Yeah. Like, how, how about if I go say, Jenny, you know what, Jenny, I, I, don't want, I don't want you to model no more. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, can you go find this little cool 9 to 5 at, at, at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying, and go rock that movement? How can I tell you that? Especially if that's your passion. If you love what you do, then do it. And find a way as a man to understand that, you know what I'm saying, and to deal with the punches that rolls with it. You know what I'm saying? Period, point blank. It, should, it shouldn't even be no no, no ifs, ands, or well, well, but. No, nah, no buts. If, 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 Kip, if that's your passion, if that's what you do, get in the club, do your model thing, do the pictures, all that shit, your man is supposed to unconditionally hold you down, period. You know what I'm saying? Right. It shouldn't have to be. It shouldn't have to be exclusions. You know what I'm saying? You gotta roll with it. It's just like it's just like my job. You know what I mean? Like you know, I do. I do outside of this radio thing. I do. You know, uh, broadcasting and stuff like that. And there'd be a whole bunch of times when my day is fucked. 
You know what I'm saying? I had an asshole, a sports dude, got on my damn nerves. I ain't going to never bring that home to you, baby. I'm, I'm good. You guys ask me how your day went, I'll tell you about it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm coming home to you. Or it's a crowd of motherfuckers that's out there. And, and you know, and I, I ain't super bad as far as, you know, well-known and shit like that. But people out here know who I be. But it ain't my line. Is, if I'm with you, my line is going straight to you. It's not going to all these other people. And 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 the, your job is supposed to make your guy or your girl feel comfortable about that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, that's, that's my whole little... Right. My, my, my whole little branded... Uh, you know, two cents when it comes to stuff like that, though. I just say. Yeah, but you're acting like it's a dude that you've been with for a long time. I'm saying when relationships are just starting for reality stars, once the dudes see what's going on, even after a week or two, it's like, never mind, I don't like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're acting like the dude. I can't understand if you're talking about your dude, like. That dude quit. He didn't take the time to go roll with you, though. He quit. He copped out because he couldn't handle your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? If he can't handle your lifestyle, then he can't handle you. Because if you live a hectic, fast pace now, you know, Jenny, Steph, Kip, y'all going y'all gonna to go through it. And it's going to get worse the more y'all start being well-known. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get to that point where it's going to get worse and worse and worse with admirers and all kinds of people. And if that dude, if that dude gets tired of it the first couple of weeks, that dude ain't pushing your line there. He never gave a damn anyway. You know what I'm saying? So... Next, move on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? That dude didn't care. That dude didn't have the un not 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 saying that he didn't care. He didn't have the understanding of 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 how y'all lifestyle is. You know what but I mean? Look, like, you know, but you know I, what? With that whole situation, you know what I'm saying? This, like I told you before, you know what I'm saying? It's some dudes that just feel like I gotta take care of my woman, and you know what I'm saying? Like real talk, with I completely concur with you on that whole situation. If he if he ain't to the point where he can handle that shit, then he need to move the fuck on. But my thing is, like, this is my thing, you know what I'm saying? Being the nigga that I am, you know what I'm saying, I ain't bullshitting you. If I'm with you, I'm with you. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let you, uh, let me see, I'm not going to let you suffice for something lesser than what you work. Like, say, like, if you feel like you want to be an actress, you think you can do it or whatever, Fuck the model only thing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got the model to be an actress. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to support you 110% all the way till you get to that goal. But you if that's what? your goal. But you know what? If, if that's their they, they passion, though, if they love modeling, if they love being on camera, you know what I'm saying, taking pictures and, you know what I'm saying, padding up their portfolio, then I wouldn't stand in her way. I would not stand in her way whatsoever. Because, you no, know, I'm not at the end of the day, all it is is just pictures, though. You know what I'm saying? All it I'm, is is just pictures, adding up, padding up your portfolio. But you know what? Modeling and acting, they do, and especially nowadays, they go hand in hand. Because you definitely got to have some, uh, you got to have some, some, some nice shots of you, you know what I'm saying, to be able to, uh, you know, rock your, your acting gig. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's crucial. You know what I'm saying? But right. I, I respect what you're saying, brother, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying in general, like, the, the, the most confusing stuff should be some of the most simplest stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? And Steph, Steph over there, quiet as hell, just taking notes, like, hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jenny like that, too. She over there, like, wow. Like, nah, I'm, I ain't Y'all going in. I feel. So. <laughs> okay. Y'all going in. Damn. Just don't date the dude. <laughs> nah, but you know what? That's, that's just, that's just some real stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, like I said, and I mean, and all three of y'all ladies and, and people, if, if, if y'all aspiring to do something, you know, it's, it's going to happen to y'all, famous or not, you mm -hmm. know, public eye or not, you know what I'm saying? You're going to probably have a problem like that or two, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm just saying, like, you, the, the guy really has to have some respect for you, one, and respect for your relationship and, and, and what's rocking with your career, in order for you to really kind of push that, though, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel you when you say that, Kev, like, the dudes, the dudes that come and go and they'll be like, well, I can't do this no more because there's too many people in. Man, that's, that dude's a fucking quitter, I swear. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why would that, why would that dude just stop? You know what I'm saying? He can he going to stop because that dude just don't care. He don't, he don't care to deal with the, the, the fast-paced lifestyle that's, that's in there. Most people, but if they really cared about you enough, to the point where, you know what, I respect the hell out of Kip, 
I respect Jenny. I respect Steph. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what? If if I'm with any any one of them, then you know what? I'm I'm a stand. I'm a, I'm gonna go rock with them and do this because you know they good people. It don't matter how many dudes they had to end it. Like it's gonna get to that point where we be going. We gonna have to talk about it. Be like, hey Jenny, we we gonna have to talk about these you know 50 dudes every day getting on your line because you know they all trying to touch you and and you know all kinds of stuff. Maybe we need to get some security and stuff if it's that popping. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we don't have to find a way to get something to make it easier for you. It's, it's all about trying to make the lady feel comfortable, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Kip, if you comfortable, if you comfortable with whatever's going on, like, you know, or even if you ain't, then that means you got to holler at your dude and be like, hey, you know what? These, these motherfuckers touching me a little bit too much, man. We're going to have to do something about this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that dude is supposed to hold you down and be like, hey, here's, here's what we got to do. You know but, I mean? but you know what, like, with, with, yeah. with, let me let me tell you, like, about me, you know what I'm saying, like, being in the military, like a woman, I, it, it's something about a dude that's in a uniform that women love, you know what I'm saying, and it, it's just like, you know, if a woman see, like, the thing about the military, the military will fuck you out of a relationship, and, I, and, and don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying, I love the military, but it, it's just a fact, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the military, it's just like your dream you're chasing. The dream going to come first sometime. And the thing about the military, like the military, they you can come home and be like, oh, I want to be my baby, blah, 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 all this other bullshit. And the military call you right back and be like, hey, we need you to come to work. Or, hey, you got to deploy. Or, hey, you got to do this shit. And you know what I'm saying? It ain't a lot of women that can deal with that. It, it real talk, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like... I can't tell you how many arguments I've had dealing with yeah, this. Yeah, see, and, and, and you know what, bro? And you made a good point, too, because it's a lot of situations where it's just like when you get, like, you in the military, bro, you get deployed. If you got a wife at home, you know what I'm saying, the wife knew this beforehand, you know what I'm saying, that you was about to go ship off and go somewhere for a couple of months, go somewhere else for a couple more, and then maybe come home for a couple of days and go back out. That's, that's, the, that's the lane she wanted to be in, so she took that choice. You know what I'm saying? That was mm -hmm. the choice that she made. Even though she may not like it, that's the choice she made, and she she good with it. If she fa you know, if every, everybody's faithful and everybody's cool, I'm just saying hypothetically. You know what I mean? If everything about the relationship or the situation is 100. So, you know what I'm saying? Again, it's another choice. It's another choice of another guy or a girl and and, and stuff like that. It's, 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 it's so simple. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to, I try to dumb it down and keep it as simple as possible because... If I'm with you, Jenny, then I'm with you. If you gotta mm -hmm. go through, if you gotta go through, you know what I'm saying, a whole bunch of security guards just so you can be able to feel comfortable networking and stuff like that, then we're gonna talk about it and work it out, Jenny. You down with that? Good. Yeah. We're gonna work that. We we'll work that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got hella, e we got hella emails and we got a lot of people on the line too. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them they 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 just do. But a lot of people showing a lot of love for Jenny tonight. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. They love Steph already because Steph's like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody loves Kip because Kip is, you know, <laughs> co-host, and she rock out every single Tuesday night. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and throw some lines open tonight on this Tuesday ladies night as we kick some real shit tonight. <laughs> 662, I think this is my girl, Jazzy Baby. Oh, wow. 662, you on the house tonight on Tuesday ladies night. What's good? Yes, yes, it is me. Hey, stranger. I know, I know. What's up? What's up, girl? How you doing? Damn, I'm I ain't getting no applause. Nah, oh, man, you, you, you ain't, hey, it's ladies' night, bruh. You supposed to applaud hey. the ladies, man. It's ladies' night. <laughs> ladies' Damn, night, I get a thumbs up or some shit. <laughs> 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 Jazzy, baby, what's good, girl? You doing all right? Oh, yeah, I'm great. How's everybody doing tonight? We're good. How are you, honey? Hey. I'm good. Hi. <laughs> showing, showing, some love, showing some love to the ladies tonight. I know you've been soaking all this stuff in, right? So what, what's your comments, girl? Oh, yeah, I've been, I've been listening online. I, like, I'm, well, I don't really have, like, time to watch the reality shows. But, like, um, every time Brenda has, like, the reality show ladies on the line, I always give props and show commemoration because it takes a lot of, you know, courage to go on TV and, like, put your all on the line and stuff and right. have different 
um, opinions of how you are because I know they do make you out to be one way and you're totally a different way. So it takes yes. a lot of to do that and face the consequences or whatever people may say after. So it takes a lot of courage and guts to do that. And I just want to commend you, lady, for that. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate that. Yes. yes. Hey, hey, what's your opinion, Jazzy, about the, uh, you know, about the whole little club situation thing and, and all that other stuff? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know you, you soaking it all in. So what, what's your take on the whole little deal like that? I mean, um, I was listening. I understand both sides. I understand what the ladies are saying. I understand what you're saying also. But um, I do kind of feel like what the ladies were saying may be a little more accurate. I mean, I know what you're saying, Brandy, but um, you got to take into consideration most men, like 85% of America's men do not think the way you do. Mm -hmm. So they're probably damn, you like said 85%. God damn. I'm just saying, like. They're not going to think that, like, like after the first night, they may overlook it. Like, cool, whatever. But if it keeps happening, like, back to back to back like that, most men are not going to stick around for that. They're going to get tired of it. They're not going to yeah, tough it out so, like that. Yeah, but see, you know what? And, and to me, I think at the end of the day, that's, that's going to be the dude's loss because if you have a good woman like Kip or Jenny or Stephanie, you know what I'm saying, or, or Jazzy, or anybody out there that's 110% real on ladies' night. You know what I'm saying? They're going to miss out on something that could have been good because over something that they could, you know, they could, I guess you could say, you know, just kind of, you know, take the punches as it comes. Because when you when you live in a lifestyle that's fast and furious, then it's, it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Those are going to be problems. Those are going to be situations that you're going to have to fight through it together. You know what I'm saying? You can't just tuck and run. That's that's a coward, though. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna lose all this. They're going to lose all this opportunity to get to know somebody, you know what I'm saying, over some club issues and some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't dealing with the person in general. It's just like, you know, the cop out way be like, you know, hey, girl, you know, we're going to have to break up. It's not you. It's just me. Like, come on, please. That's, that's stupid. Like, you know what I mean? That don't make no sense at all but i feel i feel what y'all saying and, and and i rock with the ladies i understand that wholeheartedly but you know i'm i'm hoping i'm not you know the the exception to a rule that you say is 85 percent you know what i'm saying I'm i hope like, there's more I, people out there that feel me though I, it's probably more than that i'm just saying like if you're gonna have to go through a whole bunch a whole lot of those dudes that are not going to stick around until you get to the dude that may stick around and may understand it may have the exterior to uh, understand, you know, this is my job, this is what I have to go through, whether you're going to deal with it or you're not. You're going to have to go through those who won't stick around for that, and it may be more than you're willing to. But you know what I say to that? I'll be like, you know, if I was a girl, if I was a dude, if I was in, in your life, Jenny, and, and I was like, hey, Jenny, I, I just can't do this relationship because it'd be too many dudes that be on your line heavy. Like, you know, and then Jenny has every right to call me a coward, quit, you know, whatever it is under the sun that she wants to call me, because to me, I think that is. I, I think they just gave up because they not they not saying that they don't want to be in a relationship with you. They saying they don't want to go and be in a relationship because of of your profession. And to me, I think that's the that's being shallow and that's not putting your lady's consideration, you know, uh, first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? So that's no uh, man. I I, I got to disagree with you with, with that one, man. For real? Cause, you know, yeah, man, because cause you know what? You know, I understand where you coming from. Like, I completely could, you know what I'm saying? I used to be that type of dude, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to understand, like, if I can't deal with this situation, I got to be the bigger person right now. And you know what I'm saying? I know y'all done heard this saying before, you know what I'm saying? It, it's better to love and loss than to never have love at all. You know what I'm saying? I knew you were going to say that, bro. Like, why, exactly. man? Exactly. Because yeah, you got to be man, the bigger Vern, person. Vern, 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 man, you for real, be... though, Vern, let, <laughs> let, let's keep it one, though. Let's keep it one. Like, to me, you can't, don't break up over no job. Don't break up over a job. But, no, nah, I wouldn't break up over a job. But, you know what I'm saying, some dudes can't handle that. Some dudes got to be like, hell no, nah, I'll I make the pay for you. You got to just sit there and look, you know what I'm saying, look pretty. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes like that. And I'm like, it's better, like, for real, real talk, ladies. 
Like, if, if would you rather have a dude break up with you than for this dude to get Bobby Brown on your ass later on in the relationship? You know what I'm saying? Get to the point where you want to be. But, but you know what? You made a good point, too, because if those people decide they can't handle it and they decide they want to leave, then that people, and the, excuse me, those people are people that, that wasn't, it, it wasn't meant to happen because they couldn't, they couldn't handle it. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that whole better to have loved than lost and all that other stuff. And, you know, that's cool and everything. But still, to me, if your personality is, is and, your, and your spirit shines and, you know, what there's, there's the genuine person that you are and everything about you is what I want, I don't care what profession you got outside of porn. Outside of porn. Wow. <laughs> porn, that's, that's, that's we're going to draw the line right there. No, you got to be a grown ass man to handle that shit nah, right there. Nah, and I still couldn't handle that though. That's just not yeah. gonna happen because that's violating something that I feel like we need to be about together. That's that's. that's Thank you for listening to the number one radio station for the people.